Emily here with the do's and don'ts of creating a strong pin number. First, we're going to start with the don'ts. Get those over with. Know that you need to not go in that direction. So first, don't make a pin number based off your personal information. That information can be searched and can be found and used and look at social media. All of that information is out there a lot of the time. For example, your phone number, don't use that as your pin. Your home address, no, 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 no. Or even maybe your birthday or even a family member's birthday. All of that can get traced back to you and hackers can guess that information. Next, do not repeat numbers. So one that is highly used, two actually that are highly used, it's gonna be zero, 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 straight goose eggs, one, 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 one. Hackers can guess this and they know that people use this because it's easy to remember, but it's also easy to hack. So no, no, no. Do not use numbers in logical sequence order. This means one, two, three, four. That's actually 10% of people use that as their pen. And hackers know this information. It's public knowledge. So don't use it. And closely followed by that, 10%, the one, two, three, four, you get your zero, 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 and your one, 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 one. So don't make those mistakes. Now let's talk about the do's to make that pin super strong and you unhackable. So first, when you're looking to set up a pin, think of a random number, maybe hit your keyboard and that'll be your pin. Or even think of an odd fact, like when a state was ratified, just grab one out of the air that's not connected to you and it's random and there's no way it can get traced back to you. So that limits the idea of someone guessing. Another option is to continuously change your pin. So this helps protect you because if a pin is guessed or even if it's not guessed, you continue to change it, it'll limit the ability for the hackers to catch on to the pattern. So a good idea is to try to change it twice a year. If you can't, at least change it once a year. It'll make it so your information is protected at a different level. Also, when you're looking at protecting your information, if there is a possibility, try to make your pen longer. I know a lot of institutions don't do this, but if your pen can be eight digit, nine digits long, make it so. Because a four digit passcode is a lot easier to hack than a longer eight digit, nine digit, 10 digit code. And those are just a couple tips for you to take home. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.